Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Wild Wednesday. I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that wonderful stuff because life is too short otherwise. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of your new faces around here. Uh, I see I'm up at like 261 or 262 uh, 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 subscribers now, which is amazing to think that that many people across this big old world want to look at this ugly face and 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 listen to me jabber about whatever I'm talking about. It just brings a lot of joy to my heart. Um, and then do always look in the description box. I always have more information on the day's film, such as uh, the runtime of the cut I am watching, uh, the uh, um, the rating on it, the starring cast, your director, a brief synopsis, uh, um, some trivia that I, I've found throughout, uh, or at least some trivia that I, I thought was notable of mentioning. And there's always going to be a link for a trailer or a, uh, a link for a scene from the movie. And this one is definitely one of those where I found a trailer for it. It's a pretty wa well known movie. Uh, I feel like it should be well known because it is a very good slasher. I think it is top tier slasher level, in my opinion. I could have easily reviewed this on Friday. That's how good this was. But I wanted to knock it out right away because I watched it last night and I wanted everything to stay fresh in my mind because I. I love this movie so, so much. Now, uh, let's get on to it. Uh, 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 this one came out, or is none other than Intruder. Yes, 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 folks. This is none other than the Scott, Scott Spiegel film uh, uh, from 1989. Uh, this is the uh, uh, unrated director's cut of this, and it runs at an hour and 28 minutes. Uh, it is the uh, Synapse release of this, so it is a standard issue pressed DVD and Blu-ray. Yes, 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 folks. Uh, no reversible artwork, but there is a nice little thing in there for you to look at, which is kind of fun you got a little little still from a uh, a shot a little still shot from the movie which is kind of fun and then always with synapse you get a, a little catalog book that tells you what's what's coming up um this one's from 2015 so it's a uh, uh, five years old already it's hard to believe that this movie has uh, been out that or at least uh this release here has been out that long and uh uh i don't hear enough people talk about it why is that? I don't know. Because it is definitely a good enough slasher to be up there with, with most of your top tiers. Uh, I'd put it up there with uh, uh, Freddy and... Uh, I don't like calling him a slasher. I'd put it up there with Michael Myers for sure because I think it's that good. Um, you can disagree with me all you want. Uh, uh, it is my only my opinion. This is not the end all be all. Uh, it is just my opinion, and that's what I talk about. Is just my opinion. I don't really give away too much of the film because I want you guys to go check it out yourselves. Now, like I said, this came out in '89, and it stars Elizabeth Cox, uh, Renee Estevez, which um, is the uh, sister of both um, Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez, and she was also the um, one of the stars of Sleepaway Camp Part Two, which eventually I will review that one because it is a, uh, a favorite, one of my favorite movies. Uh, that that whole trilogy is just I hold it near and dear to my heart. I love it so much, um, but. Uh, who else we got? We got Danny Hicks. We got David Burns. We got Sam Raimi. Yes, Sam Raimi, the uh, director of the Evil Dead uh, films, uh, Dark Man, uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, uh, uh, and much, 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 much more. Like um, I think he did that. Uh, did a uh, uh, Wizard of Oz type movie at one point. I could be wrong, but I think he did. Uh, um, it, later in his career, I want to say like six, five, six years ago. I could be very, very wrong. Now, and it's also got his brother Ted Raimi in here, which is, uh, he plays his usual kind of goofy character. Um, he's kind of a, some, some comedic relief that is, is much needed throughout this movie because you need some comedy because it, it is one of those, it gets very mean. Uh, uh, some of the kills are just brutal. Like, like, 
there's a bandsaw scene that uh, basically it steps on your throat, makes you watch it, it spits in your face as you're watching it, and it never lets up off of your throat in the process. It is that that like brutal. It's not like I would say rough or like oh my god that is just too much. No, I would say it it, it is very rough for what it is. So um, do keep that in mind. Um, now, uh, uh, like I said, this is directed by Scott Spiegel, um, who you should should know him through through uh, uh, um, uh, Sam Raimi and, and uh, his his crew. Uh, Bruce Bruce Campbell even has a very teeny teeny tiny, like blink and you miss it cameo at the ass end of it where he plays a cop uh it's kind of it's kind of a di funny little role that he has in there it kind of makes me think of uh thou shall not kill except uh which has a very brief cameo of him in the in one of the features i forget what it's called now off the top of my head because there's two different versions of that movie and if you haven't seen thou shall not kill except definitely give it a watch it's it's an interesting one. It's like a, a a cult, an evil cult that's going around killing people, and in the process, there's a, uh, a military group of military veterans that are um, uh, met together, old Vietnam vets that have met together and have uh, uh, re rekindled their friendships. When, and in the process, all these killings are going on. It's very good. Hey man, my dog is behind me and he keeps shaking everything. I, I wish he would chill out, you know. <laughs> little turd. Uh, now, uh, what is this movie about? Um, it's basically about a, a grocery store. It's the, uh, what is it, the Walnut, uh, Walnut something, Walnut Lake Market, which is, um, uh, a real store. It was a real grocery market. Um, they did the whole filming after closed type ordeal because this is takes over. It does take over um, the take place over one whole night. Uh, so it, I think its original um, uh, name was going to be night shift or some late shift or something like that. Uh, and then they switched it to intruder, which. Um, uh, the name, that name, late shift or, or night shift, whichever it was, was a, uh, 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 early short film that Scott Spiegel made. And this is kind of a loose remake of it. And, and from everything that I've read about it and I've heard about it and everything of that nature. So, um, definitely, definitely. Um, so uh, this, uh, this, uh, Walnut Creek market, this, this grocery store is, um, closing down for good. Good. And all the employees were just told um, they're all very, very hurt and, and bummed. And some of them are just, it seems like they're angry. And uh, which I understand, I'd be angry too. You know, you put in it, you bust your ass at your, your shift and you find out, oh, hey, by the way, uh, we're going to be closing up here in a couple of days. Uh, I went through that when I worked years and years ago for video update yes folks the company that turned from movies to go to movies and then uh, a video update uh they they closed shop after they gave me a a, a basically a three-day notice and that they were closing up shop uh pretty bogus you know i was only like 18 at the time so i wasn't like really too worried but still kind of sucks um so the store is closing, and all these people are in dire straits. Basically, uh, it's showing them go out through the, throughout their night uh, doing their menial tasks, such as uh, pricey tagging everything. Uh, uh, um, like there's a the butcher is working, which is Sam Raimi, and then there's a uh, the guy who does the produce is Ted Raimi, and he's back there doing his thing, and he is pretty much oblivious to everything that's going on because he's wearing a pair of old uh, uh, tape cassette headphones over his head. And so he he doesn't really realize uh, what is going on. Uh, and uh, in this process, every one of these people are, are being stalked and slashed throughout throughout different re different ways of in the different ways. Uh, such as there's, pro there's one great scene that involves... Um, uh, what are those... 
pull like pull punch things that you use, that they use in restaurants where they stab the ticket on it uh, where it's like a like a point you know it's one of those things I can't remember what they call those uh, one that involves that like a, uh, there's a, an a infamous bandsaw scene uh, there is um, uh, uh, all kinds of goodness in here and in the process there's um, one of the girls which is um, Elizabeth Cox character she is being um, stalked by her ex-boyfriend who just got out of prison for a murder uh, she says it was accidental um, uh, it's one of those things he, he got in a, a fight with somebody and the guy the other guy ended up dying in the process so the guy definitely uh, uh, is a little rough around the edges I would say so you got that going on in the middle of all of that going on there's a scene where uh, uh, both uh, that ex-boyfriend and Elizabeth Cox are talking and he decides he's going to punch her in the face it starts an all out melee between him and other employees from the store such as one guy that is that has the uh, 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 the hots were and he's kind of like dating her essentially um uh him and the manager who uh reminds me a lot of the uh uh custodian from gutter balls it just i don't know what it is about him he just reminds me of him uh, uh it's just, it's kind of funny, like, just his mannerisms and, and some of the stuff he says. He's a nicer version of him, but he just kind of, like, reminds me, his look reminds me of him more than anything. Um, uh, so there's this giant melee. Um, eventually, uh, uh, the guy comes back. There's another little squabble. Um, he is at one point hiding in the store. They think he's up in this attic area where, where, uh, um, apparently the, uh, the, the manager caught them smoking the wacky tobacco, as he put it. Uh, he, they found it. there's a little, like, closet up at attic space like in this area which they do go up in there and you see all these amazing 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 masks halloween masks that i'm guessing were probably made by the uh, folks that did the effects for this which is none other than uh, knb effects uh it was kurtzman nicotero and burger burger uh they definitely uh uh did a, a good job with that there it doesn't uh there's some stuff that doesn't really look the best here and there but it, it still it holds up um now uh, uh what else is there that i want to talk about there's the boyfriend uh there's Ted Ramey is a goof, 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 goofball. Uh, he's one of those guys that uh, just cracks me up in this. He is he's much needed comedic. Um, comedic relief um now as far as like some kind of like technical abilities of this thing it's it's really fun um i am a huge fan of how this is filmed there is some amazing uh, uh camera angles such as like uh um the girl is sweeping a floor and you're you're basically you're looking up you're like you're the floor and she's sweeping over you uh there's a, a shot where um renee estevez picks up the phone and you see um the old touch or the old uh, uh ringer dial that used to be on on the old telephones that's you that's your view uh there is um one where they take like i want to say it's like a uh a, a box of cereal and they're um First, they're moving the cart along like like it's it's the cart moving, and then they put this box of cereal in front of it, which is this thing is full of little little uh, uh, store ads for for all kinds of different real products. Um, a lot of the cereals I really noticed, which kind of cracked me up. Um, so. As far as uh, 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 any kind of trivia, like I said, it was a real market. It was a, a remake. Um, oh, I almost forgot. And Toby Hooper, the great Toby Hooper, rest in peace, um, director of Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Eaten Alive. Uh, 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 gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, Life Force. 
uh, that stupid Mortuary movie, and so on and so on and so on. The guy, the Fun House, is another one that he did that I really, really like. That I, uh, I thought about reviewing this week, but I'm not going to uh, do that one yet. Um, I just watched it like maybe a couple of months ago, so I'm not ready for another rewatch yet. Now, like I said on that technical ability, it is amazing. Uh, the story picks up uh, very quickly, uh, does not uh, let up really that well or that much. Um, it stays pretty pretty even keel throughout the whole movie, which is what I really like about it. Uh, you got the great fun camera angles. The editing is pretty good. Um, you can see my dog moving around behind me there. Um, Sorry, guys. He he can be a little bit of a, a turkey sometimes. Oh, now he's decided he's going to leave. That's okay, though. We'll see him here in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, now, so I'm going to give this thing a 4 out of 5 on their technical ability. This this is done so swell. Um uh, because, like I said, the acting, the fun camera angles, uh, the cinematography is, like, really top-notch in this, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, interesting um, death. The way they do the deaths, they're very, very interesting and fun and uh, uh, super bloody for for its time. Well, that was it was the eighties. It was the glory, gory of the the gory glory of the eighties, which um, uh, this one definitely I hold up there very high. Uh, so as far as an entertainment side, this thing is definitely a 4 out of 5. This is an 8 out of 10 slasher, in my opinion. Uh, go check it out. If you do not like this, I am sorry. Uh, something must be wrong with you. Or there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I got shit to do. This has not been my favorite review. Uh, uh, I will get back with you tomorrow. I got another great slasher, another classic from the 80s, and one that uh, I watch every year as well. It's got a fun trilogy on top of it. Uh, uh, I think think no that one has not been remade yet but uh tomorrow's look out for it it's going to be a fun one for terrifying or no not terrifying tuesday it'll be bloodthirsty thursday yowza peace guys